Father. Supporters and opponents of Ghana's new anti-LGBT bill faced off in Parliament on Wednesday. It was the first of several public hearings into the proposed legislation that would make it a crime to be gay, bisexual or transgender. Gay sex is already punishable by up to three years in prison in Ghana, though no one has been prosecuted in years. The new bill would go further, lengthening jail terms and forcing some to undergo conversion therapy. It would also criminalise the promotion and funding of LGBT plus activities, as well as public displays of same-sex affection and cross-dressing. Okoto Ampo, a lawyer representing a coalition against the law, called it totalitarian and unconstitutional. On the other side of the argument was a representative of Ghana's Pentecostal Council, Abraham Ofori Kuragu. Yes. So I believe that because the bill appears to have gained the mode of the nation, Parliament should also step in. And this is what the people are calling for. You don't have any other option than to move along with what the people want. Supporters say the legislation has broad backing in the largely Christian West African country. There have been no national opinion polls on the bill and it has been condemned by UN rights experts. Kojo Asante is a director at Ghana's Centre for Democratic Development. It's just based on uh, religious favour and beliefs, a set of beliefs, that there is a, a, an LGBT movement that is going to overwhelm all of us, is going to stop our procreation, uh, basically end of the world stuff, right? And those kinds of things cannot be a basis for criminalizing other Ghanaians. And before coming... A deputy majority leader said the committee is expected to hear 10 petitions a week in a series of public sessions before the bill is put to a vote in Parliament.